Welcome back to the Realm of Unpopular Opinions and vlog six or seven. I'm not sure anymore. I think it's seven, but this is the intro to <laughs> to my Dune part three vlog. But no, in this vlog, I'll be reading Dune Messiah and maybe the next book, considering that Dune Messiah is very short. But that is the plan for the week. And also I'm going to be reading Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. But that is going to be a dedicated vlog because I will do a series where each Dan Brown books I read gets a vlog. So starting with Angels and Demons, that's going to be separate, which is why I'm not introducing it in this video. But here it is. It's in my book sleeve. So welcome to the vlog. The plan for the week is Angels and Demons and dune messiah and potentially because it's october and it's been a while i might read death note we'll see though we'll see really want to but at this point i have no idea what's going on and when motivation is gonna strike when depression is gonna hit it's all a mystery so long intro done <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I bought like this gigantic pack of digestives. They're the best. This is the best company. Cinnamon candle going. And we've got green tea with matcha. And it is time for the first dunk. This is heaven. Right there. Morning everyone, my first class for today just finished and the other one starts at noon. So just popped in here for a short read, Death Note. <laughs> I read like a hundred pages last night I think, let me, <laughs> this is literally a beast. Let me just find my spot, yeah I'm on page 113 or chapter 4, this is really difficult to hold up. I'm on page 113 of like 2400, so still in the first volume in any case. I think I'm going to read a little bit more of this and then I'm going to probably move on to Dune Messiah when the other class is done because I miss Jessica and Alia and everyone. Or maybe I'll just start Angels and Demons, truly depends on my mood, so let's read Death Note until the next class, which I'm not motivated for in the least. Also, you can't tell on camera, but I have earrings. <laughs> and this is the first time that I actually put earrings in my ears since removing the starter ones. And it hurts like a bitch. <laughs> I literally needed ice to put them in. I hope that's not a thing that always happens maybe the first few times, but it really hurt like a bitch. <laughs> so, not a fan of the process, gotta say. Second class of the day. Notes are ready. So is class and the camera. I so don't have energy to do this. Can we just establish the fact that this is such a gorgeous shot? Like how it's the black background and him and all the crosses are white. And it's titled God. I just... I love this <laughs> so much, the art. And this is just beautiful. I mean, of course, it's prettier to me when it's anime because it's colored, but wow, though. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> this, though. Sue me, but <laughs> between light and L, I definitely think the light <laughs> is my type. <laughs> I mean, in appearance-wise. Not gonna get into personality and everything, but... Light is so my type. I find him so attractive. I can't help myself. And also, I, I'm just obsessed with the with the drawings. I can't also. That's pretty funny, but... Yeah, this is just... I'm having the best time. I already read, like, 300 pages. I'm gonna try and speak quickly and loudly because this is loud, but... Imagine reading, like, almost 400 pages and being... <laughs> this far into a book. I mean, I get that this is extremely long, but 
it's so funny. I have no idea who took the time to do this binding, but congratulations in any case. So let's just keep reading and I'm loving it as usual. I think the first chunk is always my favorite and I think I rewatched it the most times. So it's pretty much clear that that's the one that I enjoy the most. Enough rambling though, let's get back to our fictional boyfriends who are also somehow meant for each other. <laughs> I just say I've always appreciated like Rhea and Light's relationship because it's <laughs> from the start he's like I mean I'm gonna kill you one day cool <laughs> can I get some apples now yeah sure and then just he's like but I don't want to help you then you're not getting your apples then he's like okay fine I'm helping you I'm bored anyway and I'm not gonna be able to be in your room without talking to you it's like the god of death is so <laughs> genuinely so bored they're both so bored and I love their <laughs> supernatural dynamic and the theory that light, you know what happens to light in the end, the theory that comes after that, I think it makes a lot of sense actually and in my mind that's exactly what happened because it's so fitting and he fits in perfectly and he handles the Shinigami with such composure that I think the theory could just as well be very true. So. I'm loving it. Every time that Rhea and Light are alone, I'm <laughs> I'm just having the best time is all I'm trying to say and <laughs> Okay, a, ha a camera hunt. That sounds like a lot of fun. He's literally just a god of death. He's bored. There we go. The best shot ever. The babes just <laughs> made eye contact. I love you with all my heart. But Light, <laughs> I can't help it. Light damn <laughs> also this thick boy is oh it's a new chapter already humiliation here we go these like these big sh shots i almost said these panels are so pretty though where it's just light and like ryuk behind him because it's sort of I don't know, it's just sort of ominous, literally like the devil on your shoulder, and I love <laughs> the representation of that. It's so good. I can't stop reading this, even though I know exactly what's going to happen. Unhinged light <laughs> is probably one of my favorite lights, because like the drawing is so cool and how he's composed, he's stony, and then he just starts laughing. I love unhinged light <laughs> so much. Like his face when he's scheming look at this look at this hot bastard <laughs> just that love that love that so much and i mean it's better in the anime because you can actually hear his laugh but this is just so cool the drawings and the story together perfection so bless both of you guys i just had a thought but i freaking forgot <laughs> it's already getting way too hot in here which is why i'm speaking loudly but yeah, I'm probably going to read chapter 26 and then I'm going to take a little break because I'm getting way too tired for this. I had like five hours of sleep last night, so definitely time for a break and I do hope that you can hear me actually because this is weird. I only now realize it was loud. Yikes. Can we acknowledge the fact that like Jealous Gellus is so cute. Like, so cute. I remember him in the anime, too. He was adorable. But, like, also... <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a cute concept for this Shinigami. I gotta... I gotta give you that. And, I don't know. I just love them so much. They're my favorite part of this story, which is kind of clear. And... Just their relationships with humans and how cool they are and used to be and everything. And also the fact that Rem says that Ryuk used to... <laughs> that not the Shinigami King is not easily tricked, but Ryuk got the second death note. And I read somewhere that Ryuk wasn't even one of the higher-ranked Shinigamis. So, like, <laughs> he's a badass. How did he even do that if the king isn't that easily tricked? I don't know. I could probably read <laughs> an entire 2400 page manga about the Shinigami realm, but that would probably be boring. But I would still read it. And I would need that sequel about the theory. <laughs> Definitely. 
I'm just getting the desire to watch it again so bad because I want the music and the voices and everything. I just miss it so much. It's been a while since I saw the anime actually too because I used to watch it to death. I rewatched it all the time. But yeah, might just be time. I'm in the mood right now. Reading is going superbly. And yeah, this is just the best time. Please read it if you haven't yet. It's so good. Just crossed my mind that Misa would probably be like a couple hundred years old. Probably, because I mean like, we don't know how old the Shinigami was when he died, but all his years were transferred to her, then she cut that in half. Which still could have been a couple hundred years, depending on how much that Shinigami actually had left. But that's still a long time even when she cut it in half and then she cuts it in half the second time. And it could still be a couple hundred years. Like this, this girl could just live for like 300 years. <laughs> Probably less because I don't think the Shinigami were that busy. But in any case, she's going to live a while. Which is kind of ironic. She did the deal, deal twice, but still she's going to probably live longer than normal people. So go Misa, I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to look, look how pretty this is. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yes, power couple. <laughs> I mean, I know he doesn't treat her that well at all, but she's weird as well, so it's a strange combination. But look at this. This is just gorgeous. This. <laughs> but like, who are we kidding at this point? Ryuk is such a mood. Rem is just chilling. <laughs> and he's just being a bad boy. <laughs> I am him. That face. This art is just wow. Radio. So it's now already dark. It's like 7 p.m. I have all my equipment here in my reading room. I have chocolate, tea with the appropriate mug book sleeves, stickies, three books, <laughs> and it is finally time for the daily update. So, let me pick up the beast. <laughs> Death Note, here we have it. I'm this much in, if you can believe it. I read 700 pages, and I'm not even a third into this. <laughs> I don't mind because it's incredible, and it's the best, and I'm probably going to watch it later tonight. But this is so good. I might even bring my computer in here and just play it in the background because it's just so good and such a good experience. And so fun to read and the smell of the manga just reminds me of the first time I read it. I think it was two years ago now. I think it was two years. But in any case, I adore it. It's my favorite for a reason. Perfect. I just fell into the mood to read it. I didn't plan it, but I am so glad I did and I'm not stopping now because I have a tendency sometimes to stop mid-series when a certain thing happens and then not finish it. But now I want to finish it because I remember I liked the ending a lot more in the manga, the how it comes around, even though it's the same, but I liked it a lot more in the manga and the extra bonus chapter is pretty cool. But yeah, got a candle on. It's sort of a crappy day, but I mean, here we are. Also, there's <laughs> light and Rhea Kiff in case no, someone didn't notice. But yeah, we're going to continue reading this. That's the plan. I don't think I'm going to stick it up because it needs to fit inside the <laughs> inside the slip case. So I don't think I'm going to tab Death Note. But I was considering, however... <laughs> Tapping Bat, because, I mean, it's a hardcover. Those are very really easy to tap, and it's thick. I think it would look cool to tap at least some important scenes, in my opinion. So, starting with Dune Messiah, I'm going to probably start it later. I'm not sure how much I will read because I'm ridiculously tired, but Dune Messiah is short, so it should take me like a day. It's 100 pages in this book. But I do want to start it tonight because I sort of want to get the feel for what the second book is like. Aside from that, I'm probably going to play Death Note as a background and I'm going to continue reading. I don't know, is that sort of night? I have some more schoolwork I have to do, but 
I am so tired. I got, as I said before, five hours of sleep, so I don't think I'm going to do that today. And thankfully, with online school, you actually have the liberty of deciding when you're going to do something, which is both a gift and a curse. So, my hand is going to fall off from holding these toes. And then, <clears throat> when I do get the time, I'm going to read that <laughs> dedicated vlog again. So, I'm not going to update about that here, but it didn't even start it yet. So, you get sort of behind the scenes, <laughs> clearly. I feel like... I'm reading less, but at the same time, I'm loving what I'm reading mostly, and I'm reading long books. I feel like for a while, I haven't... I don't remember the last time I read a book that was below 500 pages. I keep reading tomes at this time of year, which is fine by me. I mean, I already read, like, 150 books because I was in a graphic novel kick at the beginning of the year, but... <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I'm just reading thick books at this point, so... Now I'm going to complain and I'll let you know what I read. This is probably going to be a longer vlog because I am getting very rambly and I'm going to try, perhaps, to keep it going until the end of the week. If it turns out to be too much footage, I'll just make the weekend a vlog because I'm going to... A house in the forest to visit a famous lake in my country so I'm not sure if I'll stick that into this vlog or not maybe this is gonna be like a 50 minute vlog which I hope it won't be because exporting's a bitch so yeah I'm cutting off now <laughs> bye bye <laughs>
And I love this part so much. <sighs> Anywho, yeah. I've rambled enough today, so I think I'll just give you another small update once I've read a little bit of Dune, and then I will see you tomorrow because I've I had to have talked for like 20 minutes today. <laughs> We're getting started. I want to try <laughs> and watch the show parallel to the manga so I can see the differences real time. Plus, I've never actually watched it on the big screen. And this transition is probably my favorite, though. The beginning where <laughs> Light and Ryuk are like... Damn, I hate my neighbors. <laughs> are paralleled in this way. Like, they're both technically the same person in different realms, and I think that's the perfect, like, indicator that Light ends up is what he ends up. I just love this so much. And I don't know, the heart of this show isn't Light and L; it's Light and React to me, actually, because it begins and ends with them being bored and actually having fun and being tricky and clever and intelligent. I, I can't. I love these two so much, and to be honest, I fell in love with the story because of them and because of this beginning. I love them so much and like Ryuk couldn't have <laughs> dropped the notebook to a more perfect person. I love this <laughs> so much and I'm loving how it's full screen Netflix actually because sometimes it has the cut off like at the top at the bottom so we are loving this. I think as far as the manga goes I have like 16 episodes to watch to catch up so <laughs> let's get cracking. I'm reading through Death Note. This is my favorite arc, the one where Light is no longer what he is. I'm on chapter 40, Friends. And just like, it's weird because you get used to Light because he's like that from the beginning and you love him. He's so cute when he's regular Light. So cute and so self-righteous and he has a moral code and he doesn't want to use Misa and he's actually kind to L. I would like like an alternate reality where we got this light who wanted to be a police officer and who was so so good that him and L became actual good friends. I don't know it's just so cute. It hurts a little bit <laughs> because you know that's exactly what his plan is but I don't know it's just a, it's a cute little fantasy to see light as the guy who still wants to be the best police officer in Japan so and I <laughs> this is gonna be the part of the book where I'm slowly missing the Shin Shinigami because there's gonna be less of them I know there's still gonna be a plot with Rem but then they kind of take the back seat for the rest of the manga, so not looking forward to that. I mean, I think the first chunk, is, the first thousand pages are definitely by far the best. There's that chunk, I think, from like 1500 to 2000 where you kind of want to blow your brains out. But still incredible. I love it so much, but I miss Ryuk. <laughs> Yeah, those are pretty much all the thoughts I have. I'm not sure if I'm going to read anything else aside from this today, so. Why am I blinking so much? I must be very tired. I'm not going to read long anymore because it's like 11. But this is just heartbreaking how much Light and Elle are actually getting along now that Light is good again. It's just so fucking cute how he's so, he admires him so much and he literally like, why you're faster than me and you're great, I love having you here. It's just so bloody heartbreaking to know what happens. <laughs> Guess that's why I love these stories though. I love stories that are tragic but also beautiful at the same time if you get me. Sort of like... Star Wars is why I love Anakin's story so much. It's tragic as hell, but it still has a good ending and a lovely journey. So, you know, I'm just rambling because I'm tired. I'm probably going to read just a little bit more and then I am 
going to bed and we'll probably watch more of Death Note. <laughs> if we're going to be realistic. First update of the vlog. Here we are. I already read like 42 pages. I mean, Dan Brown is very, very digestible. But Langdon is such a mood. I love him so much. <laughs> His lines are so relatable. He's literally like <laughs> talking to Kohler, who's like the guy at CERN. <laughs> and he's like, he's explaining something to him. And Langdon's like, I see, Langdon said, not seeing at all. <laughs> He is such, such a damn mood. But I'm ridiculously tired now. But yeah, I'm having the best time with this. Langdon is so cool. And maybe just me, but the book is so different to the movie. I don't remember any of this. Where Langdon goes to CERN and meets this guy. Is this guy even in the movie? I don't think he is. All I remember is that the movie is very centered on Vatican. On the Vatican. And Ewan McGregor. <laughs> Maybe the book's plot actually has Illuminati? Because I know in the movie, it's only like a name drop by Ewan McGregor's character. It's not even actually a thing. Did they actually like change the plot of the book? Because I know Da Vinci was very close to the original, I mean, clearly. But Angels and Demons... So far, it doesn't even feel like the same thing, so I guess let's see. 50 pages in, and it almost doesn't seem like the same story, but we'll see. Maybe they just changed the beginning because they thought it was too long, but it's probably the last update for today because I'm ridiculously tired. Thank you.